I'm Nicholas Spikner. And I'm Broderick Spikner. Welcome to the July edition of the Summer Dog Show, your source for the latest Empire news and sports. Summer is rolling right along and June seemed to go way too fast. The cafeteria is giving out free breakfast and lunch. Just stop by mid-morning on Mondays through Thursdays. On July 9th, Empire Athletics will be having their first annual Bulldog tee-off at the Duncan Golf and Tennis Club. All proceeds will go to the Empire Athletic Department. There is still time to sponsor or enter a team. Get in touch with Mr. Lee for more information. We caught up with some of our school administrators and asked them what's gone on so far this summer and what will be coming up this month. Here's what Mr. Lee and Mr. Skiles had to say. Well, things going on at the high school, Empire High School, this summer. Uh, not a lot in the main building that's going on. We'll be having a new high school science teacher. Uh, this is Amber Molina, who will also be coaching softball. Uh, made a few changes inside the gymnasium. Uh, knocked out that area of wall between the concession stand and the court. Uh, got a lot of positive feedback from that. I think that's going to look real nice. And, and hopefully when we finish our golf tournament... Uh, I will have enough extra, uh, you know, funds raised that, that we can improve the, the video look in the gym. Uh, you know, we, we had a lot of, a lot of people say how much they liked us putting up the video board in the, in the high school lobby. That's getting a lot of, a lot of buzz. And that came from a lot of your, your classes, you know, doing the work on that. And so, you know, I think we need to upgrade in the gym, uh, to do that uh, we did get a grant for some watering stations so we're going to try to replace our water fountains with uh, refillable touchless water stations I know it's a little late but hey we'll take it when we can get it um, gonna be painting the wall down by the football field and the, the softball field wall I had that power wash just yesterday so uh, going to grab a few stout young men to to paint that and try to make some improvements there for the way things look aesthetically. Uh, I can't think of much more that, uh, that we're changing up or doing anything different. Going to go back to a seven-period day, uh, you know, and we will be getting out a little earlier, a little before three o'clock, so the students, I think, will like that. Uh, Get to get to start practice a little earlier. Maybe get home a little earlier. Who knows? Um, that about sums up all the changes that I can think about. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Hello, Bulldog Nation. Mr. Skiles here, uh, sitting on vacation in Tucson, Arizona. Hope you guys are having a, a great summer break. Uh, I know I am, but I'm also ready to get back to school. School will be starting before you know it. Thought I'd get on here and give you a quick July update for the Bulldog broadcast. Uh, we're just finishing up our summer reading program. Um, we've done lots of freshening up and painting in the elementary school. We also have two new faces that will be in the hallways next year. Miss Mullins will be a new fifth grade teacher as Miss Hill has moved over to the middle school high school building. And we also have Miss Smiley that will be in the kindergarten classroom for next year. Uh, hope you guys are all having a, a great summer. Uh, if nothing else, just kind of relaxing and refreshing. Um, no, I am. It's beautiful here in Tucson, Arizona. It's awful hot though. So it's about 110 degrees and we're heading out to the golf course. So you guys have a great summer. We'll see you in August. Thank you, Mr. Lee and Mr. Scholes for those interviews. As many athletes know by now, the OSSAA dead period is in effect and will end on July 5th. But June was a busy month for our Empire athletes. Our reporter KK Smith talked with several of our coaches about camps and what is coming up with fall sports just around the corner. Thanks guys. As you can see behind me, there are some changes happening in our gym. By the time basketball season rolls around, the gym will have a new look. Before we get into our summer sports roundup, we've had a few 2021 graduates participating in all star state games. Congrats to Jade Millen. She played in the OG BCA all star state basketball game on June 5th at M Mustang. Jackson Smith was selected to play in the Native American all state baseball game. 
but weather kept the game from being played. And finally, Daniel Alvarez, Landon Burton, and Mitchell Monteith were all selected to play in the eight-man all-star football game in Miami, with Mitchell being the lone Bulldog to play in the game. And congrats to Coach Hayes for coaching in the all-star game. And now let's look at our summer sports roundup. I've caught up with Coach Powers and Coach Hill about the basketball team's summer camps in June. We, uh, we started out the summer, uh, both junior high and high school, going to uh, Chattanooga and both have an extremely good camp. Um, the junior high boys went 10-1 and one and the high school boys going 6-4. and four. Um, we, Next we went to uh, Bridge Creek with the high school boys going 4-4 four and, four and um, then the next week after that, uh, Cash Junior High, we took our junior high boys to Cash and they uh, went over there and played. And then we ended today or this weekend um, with taking the high school boys to um, uh, Lindsay. So um, overall, been pretty good summer this far. I've seen much improvement with these guys um, from the junior high to high school. They've showed up, they've gotten better. Um, we've played. You know, high school had an overall record of 11 to 13 and played, you know, 24 games. And the junior high boys had played, uh, they went 13 and 4, so they played 17 games. And so, you know, I'm very proud of both teams. You know, we're extremely tired and worn out, but uh, for the most part, everybody showed up and uh, dedicated themselves to get better. And uh, I'm very proud of them, and we'll look forward to uh, what we got left in July. So summer camps this summer were good. We um, we look a little different than we did last year, which is the normal when you lose seniors. And we lost a good senior class last year. But these underclassmen have really stepped up. They've worked hard. The first week we've been out, you know, for summer break, and we've been going through workouts. And then we had three team camps, camps, and I've had good numbers from my ninth grade on up and I've had good interest in my in my younger kids and um, the thing I can say this summer is we kind of combined it everybody from seniors down to fifth and sixth graders and I really love the rapport between them the seniors have and the upperclassmen have done a good job of, of uh, leading by example and my my super young kids have shown a willingness to work and commit some time. So we definitely won more than we lost this summer. And um, I'm excited about, about the season, the upcoming season. Here's the list of the Empire Bulldogs that made this year's Duncan Banner All-Area Baseball Team and All-Area Track Team. Also, the cheerleaders will be going to a camp for four days starting on July 19th at Broken Bow. And finally, we would like to welcome our new fast pitch softball coach, Amber Molina, and her family. Coach Molina already has the girls getting ready for the upcoming season. When you see Coach Molina around, be sure to welcome her and her family to our Empire family. That's a look at our summer sports activities. Now back to Nicholas and Broderick. Thanks, KK. That's all of the time we have for the July Summer Dog Show update. We will have another summer update on August 2nd, where we will prepare you for the upcoming school year and have all the latest Empire news. Don't forget to check out past shows and content on our Empire Media Productions YouTube channel and Facebook page. The name and logo has changed, but the content is still the same. We will hope that you all stay safe this 4th of July holiday. So until August, be safe and enjoy your July. Miami with Mitchell being the lone s s and her family oh shoot did I mess up mm -mm. oh dang it I lost where I was oh, and I was like 
you will prepare you. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Several of our coaches ain't. Yeah, yeah please mm. know by now. The OSSAA dead period is in effect. Month now. The OSSAA dead period is in effect. Thank you, Mr. Lee. What a fly. Nice. What did you mess up on? I said that's a